Hi, it's Chef Rick, and today I'm making mules fritz. Okay, mules fritz means mussels and chips. That's just a literal translation. So the chips that we're going to use here are French fries. So we're going to start with the Maris Piper potato. Chop it into about a centimetre long wedges. And then we're going to chop each of those into chips. And the way I do it, you see if you cut one and then measure along with the next one. And that way you're going to get nice uniform French fries. There you go, so do that with the rest of the potatoes. Those potatoes, we're gonna just, first of all, run them under cold water, and then we're gonna put them in cold water, uh, and then leave them in the fridge for a couple of hours, or as long as you want, really, because they're gonna be fried, um, and they're so thin, you want them to not just completely crisp up and kind of go hard all the way through. You still want to be fluffy on the inside, and you'll get that by keeping them in the fridge. Uh, onto the mules the mussels, which we're gonna do in a marinier style, so it's called moules marinier. This is a very, very, very classic uh, way to present mussels. First thing we're gonna do is just take some garlic cloves, just bash them, uh, oh, sorry, peel them first of all, top and tail them, crush them with the back of a knife, and just give those a good chop. Like we do on all the videos, we just go back and forth, back and forth. No real special technique, just time, patience. Just keep working your way back and forth across the garlic. That's how you do it. So that's our chopped garlic. And we're also going to chop shallots. So just like we do with an onion, just peel off the hair at the root. Chop off the top. Chop them down through the root, keeping the root, in, root uh, intact. That's going to stop you crying. Peel them. Again, keeping that root intact. Just peeling the skin off. And like we do with an onion, again, we're going to chop all the way down to the chopping board, but not take the knife to the very back of the root. So the whole thing stays together, just like that. And we always chop through the last one just to avoid chopping into our fingers. And then we chop down through the shallots. So this is going to give us a finely minced shallot and garlic. Believe it or not, this Maninier way of serving mussels, it's about 700 years old. It's how they've always done it. It's the most classic way that you can serve uh, mussels. And Maninier was a type of uh, dress that the women would pull up as they went into the water to get the mussels from their, uh, where they were farming them on, on ropes. So the marinier was the uh, the outfit that they wore. That's where mussels, or mules marinier got his name. A mules fritz, which is where you serve this style of mussel with chips, is the national dish of Belgium as well. So there you go, loads of fascinating facts for you. This is called a bouquet garni. Another fact, there's some bay leaves, thyme uh, and parsley. What you do is you just tie those together. You can do this with any herbs, but for this one you need, uh, as I said, uh, bay leaves, thyme, and parsley. So you tie them together with um, like butcher's twine. I just snipped that off there just to make it all nice and neat, but that's what they call a bouquet garni. And here's our mussels. Now this is how you'll get them from a fishmonger in a bag like this. And these are alive. These are alive at this point. So uh, what, what are we going to do? Some of them, if they're if they're if they're open like that, give them a little squeeze, and you'll see they'll close. Now, if they don't close, throw them away. I throw them away at the beginning if they don't close. Now, all of those ones didn't close for me, and then when I went back to them, a couple had closed, so they were alive. The rest I got rid of. But what out of a bag like that, you're probably going to lose what three or four uh, mussels. Uh, they have a piece of this, what they call beard. It's like very kind of rough, tough rope that's coming out of them. This is where they were attached to the rope that they grew on. So just give that a good pull, yank that off. And that'll clean really, really obviously. If there's any bits of fur or rope or beard or whatever you want to call it sticking out of them, just pull them off. They'll also have these little barnacles on some of them. So use a blunt knife and just tap off the barnacles like that. And that is an absolutely beautiful muscle clean shell beard removed these are all the muscles i was left with give them a nice rinse 
cold water that's going to remove any tiny bits of broken shell feel around again if there's any bits of those that beard or anything else that you want to get rid of get rid of it but there they are ready for the cooking parsley again this time we're going to just give it a very rough chop that's like a small handful of parsley i'd probably call that So now we've drained off the French fries. We're just going to give them a list, um, just a bit of a pat down on, uh, on a very clean tea towel. So they're dry, ready to go into the fryer. So the first fry these have is just at 160, so it's a low, it's a low heat. Um, if you haven't got a deep fat fryer like this and you're using oil in a pan. You just drop one of the chips in and you want a reaction like this so if after five minutes the chips like this is about five minutes see there's no color on them but i promise you inside they're, they're lovely and cooked you could eat those now you're only going to return this is the second fry now this is about 10 minutes later the camera makes it look like it was immediate this was at about 190 and this fry is just to put that real crisp and beautiful brown color on the outside so even though it's a skinny french fry the outside is crispy, they're amazing. The inside is still lovely and soft. So there's our French fries, which we're just gonna uh, season with some salt. Give them a toss round. I should have tossed those like we do the chicken wings, but you know me, I always like to stick my hands in. Uh, try one, is it amazing? Of course it is. Onto the moules marinière or the mussels. So into a pan, we're just gonna put a little bit of butter. Uh, some of the shallot all the quantities will be uh, in the description below but we're just going to use half of the shallot and half of the garlic that we chopped just soften that in a butter this is a, a a low to medium heat you just want all you want the, you want the edge to be taken off the garlic and the shallot for some of that flavor to start getting released the butter to be lovely and soft that's been cooking for around about five minutes just like i say medium to low heat in goes the uh, bukagane and i just put a lid on that just let it all kind of steam together just for a little bit you think at this point you look at that and you think that bukagane is doing nothing it's just in the pan but you've, you've no idea the amount of flavor that it actually imparts into the dish uh into the onions into the butter into the garlic the whole thing is now starting to smell really 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 good and this is just the base as well So now in go the mussels. White wine, a dry white wine. And on with the lid or a plate or anything that's gonna cover your pan. Uh, leave those for about three minutes, three or four minutes. The heat wants to be up at this point. I shake them like that just to make sure everything's combined and moved around. And then after a further, further three minutes, so these are probably at about six or seven minutes, you can see now that they are all cooked. So the wine's bubbling away. At this point, you want them open. Uh, at the beginning, if your um, mussel was open and wouldn't close, you get rid of it. At the end, if it's closed and won't open, you get rid of it. Turn them off the heat. You don't need any more cooking. Remove the bouquet garnet. In with some double cream. That roughly chopped parsley. Give that a good mix around don't season it test it actually by the way see if you think it needs seasoning but don't forget these are you know salt water uh, mollusks so you know they're going to impart their own natural saltiness into this so always test it but uh, you know you, have, you don't need seasoning do it for your own taste into a bowl i'm doing this purely for decoration for presentation if you're serving this to to people you love just serve it in the pan but this is in a nice hot bowl layer up your mussels Get some of that beautiful cream and wine sauce all over there. And here's how you eat one. So you just open up the muscle, open up the shell. Use one piece of shell to scoop out the other bit of meat. And that's it, just pop it in. Beautiful, soft, delicious. There's the French fries. Um, there's an aioli. I'll put a link to the aioli video that we made uh, with the tapas. Uh, a nice little chunk of white bread for dipping in your sauce. That's uh, moules fritz, moules marinière with fries. 
it's the national dish of belgium i really hope you like it i really hope you make it thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you on the next one